Right, moving on from Mumbai, but sticking with winners, and we're sticking with CSK next, but because Chennai Super Kings, I mean, they had a season to forget, some would say, with Jadeja and that captaincy move not working out. MS Dhoni, of course, plans to play his last IPL, given the fact that it's in Chennai and Chepok, so they will be picking according to conditions and all of that. Where do we start here? We'll start with Shubh here, because essentially... What do I, I mean, what does MS Dhoni need to, of course, make Chennai win again? That's the question. Uh, they've, they've let go of people like Robin Uttapa. They've uh, not really had some of the players make their mark. Hunger Geek has still not got a shout in. Will they go mad for Sam Curran's show? Is that the obvious for CSK because he's played for them as well? Well, first of all, Chennai has, has always been the toughest team for me to analyze because you just... Uh, cannot fathom how MS Dhoni's brain actually works. Uh, I mean, he he is in a league of his own. Uh, but just uh, uh, thinking that the that the tournament will come back to the home and away format, I think they would want batters who can belt spin. Options are mm, the best option is Mayank Agrawal. But I also think they would want Sam Curran as a replacement for Dwayne Bravo. Uh, but I think uh, Karan would be out of their reach. Uh, and uh, since they already have Dwayne Pretorius, who can bowl at the death as well, and he can be handy with the bat. So uh, I feel that their, uh, that, uh, their major attention should be uh, in, in getting Mayank. Uh, so yeah, I think that is it from my side. I have not actually spent much time thinking about CSK at all. It's uh, quite, uh, it's one of those out of, Syllabus questions that you you have asked me because I'd never spend my my time th thinking about. So, I mean, I just want it's good to put people in the sport at times because then yeah. the, the true the true uh, come and the truth comes out invariably. So you were having a little chat in the office saying they shouldn't really go for Karan and my aunt. They have to kind of just prioritize one. And now what they have in terms of their budget is twenty point four five crores, seven available slots, two overseas slots available. What are they looking for here? And talk to me about your 11 before we get to Dan's thoughts as well. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, I mean, uh, CSK are one team that even if they don't buy anyone, they have at least a first 11 to field, hmm. which is true for only half the sides. So, yeah. uh, they have Gaikwad, Conway to open, Mohin at 3, Raidu, Dubey at 4, 5, Jadeja at 6, Pretorius at 7, Deepak Chahar at 8, MS Dhoni at 9. Don't do this! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if Marcus Joinis can bat at eight and nine, then why not? So I, I'm just, I mean, so Mukesh Chaudhary and Thik Sena to finish up uh, the 10 11. Uh, I think what we spoke about Gujarat, the reverse is true for Chennai. I mean, uh, losing Deepak Chahar for the entire tournament is as bad as can happen to any team because, uh, I mean, last year, after last year's mega auction, everyone was quite, quite on the same page that if every team is thinly spread and do not cannot really afford injuries to their uh, you know main players in the first eleven, especially the Indian players. It's as good as Bumrah uh, getting ruled out for Mumbai for the entire season. So uh, despite that, they 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 fought well, and this is just one of those MS Dhoni things, right? He he makes even uh, dead bodies talk at times. So I mean, Uttapa worked for them. Uh, uh, Uttapa was scoring Dubai. runs. Shivam Dubey, I mean, out of the blue, just I mean. With his feet cemented to the ground, ended up, you know, uh, playing a lot of crucial knocks. Uh, Against RCB, especially. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but see, in my opinion, uh, uh, Raidu is not at, uh, uh, at his peak and is, has not been at his peak for a while now. So, CSK might, you know, run into trouble with his format. They are bound to have that dip at some stage. So, they have to be ready for that situation. I think since they already have Dwayne Pretorius who filled that Bravo sized hole uh, uh, pretty well last season, uh, I, I would rather have them prioritize Mayank and not try to break their parts on Sam Curran. Because at least what they have something. Manish Pandey direct replace for Uttapa or no? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, who knows? I mean, if any is, uh, how good is can actually... Versus spin? How good is Manish Pandey in playing spin? With with MS Dhoni and CSK, nothing matters. Yeah, I mean, you, you no, never know. Yeah, I mean, Manish Pandey yeah. would start river sweeping spinners if he uh, comes to CSK. So <laughs> that that's there. I mean, I mean, uh, jokes apart. Uh, I, I think Mayank would really suit uh, CSK. Uh, he can bat at three as well. Uh, 
not an issue if they will still opt to open with Conway and uh, Ruturaj. Uh, uh, one more thing that uh, which is good about them is since they did not have Chahar last season, they already have uh, sort of had to forcefully bled in, uh, bleed in Mukesh Chaudhary and Simarjit Singh. So they are sort of at least a season older now, so would be much more experienced. So even if uh, they have an injury uh, issue, they have replacements ready. Uh, one player that they would want a backup for is uh, Thik Sena because uh, he, he he worked well for them last season. And I think a player who's uh, sort of a like-for-like -like, uh, with him is probably Mujib, who can bowl with a new ball in the power play to leave Pretoria safe uh, for the death overs. Uh, yeah, that's there. I mean, they would want Jadeja to have a good season, but I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm a little concerned about CSK's death bowling. But they don't have a lot of options. They can't have overseas pacers to do that. Nor are there any Indian good Indian bowlers. Okay. Uh, Dad, I, I just want to get your thoughts on CSK. Because when So mentioned his 11 right now, the top three are all right. Because you see Guy, Quad, Conway, Monali, right? But then that four, five, six, seven, potentially with Dhoni being seven. I'm, I'm guessing So was joking when he said those. I, I was not. I was not, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, 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 it's four, five, six, and seven is what? Raidu... Uh, Dube, Jadeja, and Dhoni. I mean, does that give you conviction if you're a Chennai fan? Do you think that is an area? And given the fact that there's so much made about Green and Travis Head, if not Sam Curran, will they go down that path? Um, I agree, actually. I think that it doesn't doesn't fill me with any inspiration whatsoever, <laughs> that, that four, five, six, seven. Um, and for me, one, I think it's an area that I would like to improve. But two, I can see... CSK being like no 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 it's it's all good and uh, somehow somehow it just kind of all comes together and uh, works well for one more season or something like that like it's it's quite incredible how I uh, I, th I think that they're the most unpredictable team in terms of the the strategy uh, and. The, you, could, you you would quite routinely write them off in some seasons before the seasons even started, yet somehow they they eke out like another year of magic from a couple of players. And there are players who are getting older now, uh, and, and and they've got to do some surgery. They got rid of Bravo. They got rid of Chris Jordan. So what one thing I can see them looking at a little bit more because I don't think I don't see Pretorius quite in that mould. Is I'm looking at more of like a what they would call a four-over bowler who who can bat a little bit as well. Uh, uh, so, does that is that someone like uh, um, Sean Abbott? Is it someone like a uh, George Garton or, or, or the, those, those those kind of players who 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 you can certainly contribute with the bat down the order if, if necessary? Maybe even like. A Kyle Jamieson, whose stock has fallen down so far, and is available at a, a one CR base price. I mean, like this was a guy teams were going mad over a couple of years ago. So, so you know, like you can, you, I'm sure that whoever they pick up is somehow going to work out pretty nicely for them. Yeah, Kyle Jameson is a good name because the Kiwi connection is evident with Chennai. I mean, yeah. they had what, Adam Mill. They still have Adam Mill, Devin Conway, and Santna. So maybe it's just more the merit of yeah. Kiwi. So Chennai Adam, Adam Adam is re released. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Amish, I would, I would like just like to make one point. I think one what? player I've always felt that is very well suited for Chennai is Jaydev Unadkar because, uh, and again, this upcoming season as well, uh, playing on those Chennai tracks which are slow and sluggish, Unadkar can be a very handy pick. Uh, but to counter that, I also have an explanation that why Chennai never go for for uh, Unadkar and that is because Dhoni has such a good record ag against him. He, he would rather face him in a match. It, it's the same thing that uh, that uh, sort of Kangli used to have such a good record against left, left arm spinners that Murli Karthik could not play a lot of games for India and I think that is a big re big reason why Unadkar never gets picked for CSK. But I think Un Unadkar would love to play with Tony instead of against him. So let's see if that happens uh, uh, in this auction. Guys, yeah, so Unadkar okay. played with Tony right at RPSG at once, one point of time. Yeah, and yeah. he was actually the uh, he was actually their best bowler as well. I, I don't know what happened after that. 
Sorry, Dan, you were saying? Because on, yeah, on that subject of, of Jade of an ad cat in, in um, bracket four uh, uh, of the auction, he's actually uh, going to be the first uh, Indian bowler to, to be auctioned in, in the whole list. He's, he's, he's performed well domestically. He's gone for big money before. How are we assessing the, the likelihood that he's going to go for big money once again? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think he should because there are not many not many uh, Indian bowlers available who are experienced at the in at the international level as well. I mean, most of the fast bowlers that are available in the auction are those who who don't even have a lot of IPL experience as well. So I think Unarkat should should get a good bet, and especially with the teams like SRH, uh, uh, CSK, who. Who will mostly who will play half of their games on pitches that are uh, not uh, not very not very pace friendly as well. So yeah, I think Unarkat should get a good pick. But again, the the only roadblock in Unarkat's way is his dodgy IPL record because he, he has just not been able to crack the scene. His only good season came in 2017 when RPS went to the finals, and Unarkat was one of the best performers of that. Year actually, so yeah, let's see. But I really hope that that he he gets a good amount. Okay, strange. Yeah, I mean, that, there are two that. teams. Who, there are two teams who will definitely not bid for Unarkat. Uh, one uh, is Rajasthan and Arara. the other is Mumbai because uh, Arara Mumbai Arara are bitten Mumbai. once, but RRR are bitten twice, so they'll be shyer than Mumbai. <laughs> I really hope Bangalore don't pick him because Bangalore require left arm quick, but. Uh, we'll just leave that topic there because it became Chennai and then Jay Devanath got.